Hey guys, I'm Samantha and welcome to Girl Meets God. On this channel, you will find videos about developing a relationship with God, how to do that and what that looks like, personal stories from myself as well as from others. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to click that button down below so that you can get updates to when I post new videos. So today I'm going to be talking about how to make God the center of your morning. If you're a Christ follower, you may know how important it is to connect with God every day. I know for me when I don't do that, I start to feel really distant from him uh, and a lot of negative emotions start to come up. So I really try to make him the center of my day by having a little bit of a routine every morning. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can do that. The first step is to put God first. So this can look different for different people. The best way to figure out how to put God first in your life is to figure out how you typically start your day. I know for me and for a lot of people, I often start my day with social media. This has been a habit that's been really hard for me to change, but one of the ways that I do that is by simply tapping the Bible app instead of my Facebook app. Uh, this helps me get into scripture, I can at least read a verse or two and really put God as the forefront of my day. If social media isn't your problem, maybe it's hitting the snooze button or just kind of waking up grumpy, you could just start by saying a quick prayer and thanking God for allowing you to wake up and making him the center of your day. The second part of making God the center of your morning is to set aside quiet time. So this involves finding a quiet spot. If you're having trouble finding one, something that I sometimes do is put in my headphones and find an instrumental music channel that I can listen to to block out the noise. Uh, once I've found a quiet spot, then I simply close my eyes and allow my mind to wander. Now when you first start doing this, you're automatically going to start racing through all the things that you have to do today, all the things that you're worried about, and that is okay. Let yourself do that. And as you start to kind of get in the habit of this, I know for me, I start to notice reassuring thoughts come into my mind. And that tends to be God's way of communicating with me that everything's gonna be okay, that he's going to handle it, and that he's there. So allowing your mind to wander and, and just kind of listening at the same time for what God has to say to you. There's no really good formula, but the more that you practice this, the better you'll get at it. The third thing that I do is I spend some time in the Word. I try to read at least one chapter from my Bible every day. Um, it's pretty easy, but if you're new to reading the Bible, you may just start with a verse and slowly build it up. Also, if you're new to reading the Bible, you may want to start with something a little easier, like one of the Gospels. This will be language and stories that you're already sort of familiar with. As you read, make sure to really focus on what you're reading. God speaks to his people through his word. It may not always be some awe-inspiring moment where you realize something that you've been doing wrong or, or a promise that God is revealing to you. It may not always look like that, but soaking in the words will really help you to understand what God's trying to communicate to you for that day. The last thing that I do to make God the center of my morning is I pray. I use what God has told me in my quiet time or in my... Um, reading time to pray about that. It might be simply that in my quiet time he reminded me that he's gonna be there and he's gonna guide me through my day. Or in my scripture I might have read something about glorifying God in my work. So I'll include that in my prayer because I know that that's something that God's trying to communicate with me. I'll also just invite God in for the day and ask him to be my guide. Making God the center of your morning may not be easy. It may require waking up earlier or putting off a task that you know that you need to get done, but it's a really great investment and it'll help you make a better connection with him throughout your day. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what kind of habits you've created to connect with God every day. See you guys next time. Bye.